Hey guys, MetalGod542 here, back with another episode of Let's Play Metroid Fusion. In our last episode, we were told to go ahead and head on down to Sector 5 and get the Ice Missile Upgrade. But we do have a problem. The doors are locked! So in this episode, I will show you guys how to get to the security room, where it's at, and how to get back. Hopefully I'll have time to show you how to get back. Pretty sure we will. If not, definitely the next episode. Anyways, enough killing time. Let's go. Double check our missile count. Alrighty, everything is good to go. 65 missiles and a whole lot of health. So, um, this way. Yes, you don't want to go all the way down. You want to kind of take your missiles and fire through there. Because if you go down, as you can tell on, the, on our map, it's sealed by level 3 doors. And obviously, those aren't open, so we can't use them. Anyways, down the hole. Now, I am hoping to get the uh, entire thing done with the ice missiles and getting us back and all that during this episode because I'm not trying to give too much of a spoiler out, but we are getting a new type of, uh, not a plasma beam, that would just be weird, a new beam. I'm not going to tell you what the beam does, but we are going to get a new beam shot pretty soon. So, yeah. I'm hoping to, to get that done in the next episode, but in order for us to do that, obviously, we need to get the ice missiles first. So, as you can tell, those um, things kind of got a little strange. A little bit on the weird side. Uh, your missiles can't hurt it. Nothing can hurt it or anything anymore. So, at this point in time of the game, there's not really a thing you can do about that. Um, so let's kill this guy. Alright, so clear out all these guys. You know, you want to kill them off. Because you're going to need to do the speed boost. So go all the way over and just start running. And I'll break those tiles and fall through. Ouch. Just so you guys know, like I said, I'm not too concerned about getting hit right now plenty of, especially in this sector, there's plenty of blue uh, X, so yeah, there's really not that big of an issue for health, and the enemies aren't that hard to kill, so even if I do get hit or get to low health, it should be relatively simple to restore. Now it is, you can't go over, nope, that's a different, that's later, okay, so if you want to kind of shoot right there, on down this way and just well let's not be hypocritical I did try to say and save say save every time you can so we'll go ahead and save even though you know so alrighty hop over this thing not too sure what they are to be honest um they're a little strange those particular things are not X infected but anyways here's the security room so let's go ahead and we'll activate those level 3 hatches yeah. Now, I think it was pretty apparent, but you can't go backwards. You have to continue moving forward and kind of work your way out. Now, all of these particular tiles, like this kind here, they're all collapsing tiles that look like that. So, uh, ah, I hate this guy die. So, kind of not jump on those, because you're going to fall through if you do. So, um... Oh, he got away. Oh, he almost had it. Not quite enough jumping room. I hate these guys. They're a pain in the rear. And they don't stay dead, as you can tell. Usually, they come back. Until you kill them, you know, each one ten times. And then they kind of stay dead. <laughs> of course, that was a non-literal statement when I said ten times. But anyways, point is, they're a pain in the rear to kill. Just, uh, yeah. You want kind of try and kill him. Alrighty, now as you can see, we're on the other side of that gate. Now we can go ahead and open it now that we're here, so... Now we can just, um... Yeah! Go, whoa! Wrong way. Ouch! We want to go back out this way here. Blast this gate real quick. And into the data room we go to get the ice missiles. Thank you. 
Ice missile effect added. Use it to freeze enemies. Yep, that's right, folks. We get to freeze enemies now. It's pretty awesome. I'll show you guys in a second here how it works. Can't use it on the X, so don't try. It says, woo! Uh, don't touch those guys. Yes! I actually made it through without touching them. Holy crap. Now, um, you can't touch that guy. As you can tell, he hurts. So get your missiles out. Shoot it. Now you got a frozen enemy that you can touch. Blast the ground. Or the uh, ground. It's the ceiling metal thing above your head. And then, uh, yeah. So now what you want to do is shoot him, kill him, do not absorb the X. I mean, sometimes it lets you, sometimes it won't. Again, kill him again, do not absorb the X. Let him turn into that thing. Take your missiles and... Ow. Get on the other side of him. Come on, I can do it. Freeze him. Come all the way over here. Boom! And just run right through it. So now you guys see what I mean by the ice missiles are actually relatively useful. Ow, come on. Ah, you behold. Let me pass. Hey, I never claimed to be the best at this game, so, you know, I'm pretty good. But, uh, yeah, I'm not the greatest. So, uh, stop eating. <laughs> so, I just kind of know what I'm doing. I mean, like I said, I'm not a, you know, god at gaming, but pretty good at it. <laughs> hey, what the hell was that thing? Ah, oh, come on. Oh, you know, jump. Boy. Yeah, I, I'd be a little concerned on what that is, folks, but, um, not right the second. We'll learn later what it is. Um, actually kind of not looking forward to that part of it of the game. I'm, I'm not going to go into details on what it is right now because it's too big of a spoiler, so to speak, but, uh, yeah. I'm going to die a lot of times when I go to do that. Whoa, man! What's this? Oh my god, there's an emergency in Sector 3. That is not good. Holy crap, there's something going on. So, recharge here, trust me, recharge here. And, uh, yeah, folks. Um, yeah, let's go ahead and save it in the episode here, and you guys will learn what the emergency in Sector 3 is all about in the next episode of Let's Play a Metroid Fusion. Hey, just so you guys know, I stopped rendering in high definition because it was taking forever to render the videos, and I was only able to do about one a day, so now, as you guys can tell already, I'm starting to upload more than one part a day, so I think you guys would much rather have it that way. But anyways, that's enough of that. For real, peace out, everybody.